Bridget Bartlett here. Today, I am so excited to show you how easy it is to create a webinar funnel inside of High Level. Now, before I go too deep into this, you're going to really see how cool this is and how easy this is to do. Um, but like I said, we are using High Level. So if you are not a High Level member yet, you can go to myvisionagency.com and you can join our reseller program. If you're not interested in reselling software and you just want to use the tools, I have combined all of the software that I resell in one subscription. So you can actually check all of that out. And if you're interested in joining our free community, you can go up there to join as well. Okay. So let's get into how to actually create the funnel. Well, the very first step of any funnel that we need to create is the form. So I'm going to go ahead, click here to create our form. So I'm going to go here. We can, of course, choose from a template. Let's just start from scratch because it's really simple. And we already have a form built here. So we just need to decide what names we want. We probably just want the email. And of course, you can use phone number. But again, we just want to make this the world's most simple webinar funnel in the world. And we're just going to call this register and save. Of course, you have so many options that um, you can choose. Let's even get rid of this and just make it super basic. OK, so we have our form here. Let's call it webinar registration. Okay. And let's save that again. All right. Now, one thing I like to do before I ever leave my form is click these little three dots here and go to options. And you'll see this message option. I actually just want to change that to open URL. When you change that, it deactivates the message. And now we can route it to a page, which is where we really want to route them to. So I'm just going to go ahead and save. If you ever notice your form is not going to the correct area, it's either inside the funnel or it's right here. Okay, so I just like to go ahead and turn that off. So let's go now and we want to create our funnel. So I'm going to go to the funnels area. I'm going to click here to create new funnel. And this time, typically I like to create it from blank. But again, I want to show you how easy this is to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose a funnel that we have. And if you type in webinar, you'll see that um, there are several that um, you can choose from. Let's just go ahead and choose this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. So now it's going to bring in that funnel that's already built for us. So we don't technically need to create it manually, right? So uh, we're going to bring in those parts here. It's adding the funnel. Um, now what we want to do, and before I go too deep into this, if you guys wouldn't mind just typing the word webinar, that way I know that you can hear me, that the sound is working and everything is good. If you just type webinar in the chat, that would be awesome wherever you're watching. Okay. Um, so what we want to do is now we need to connect the form. Okay. So reserve my seat. If we scroll down here, you'll see that it actually opens a pop-up. So how do we edit the pop-up? Up here, you'll see if we hover over it, it says pop up settings. So now we have the pop up. Okay, we don't need to change the button, we just want to change the pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and add like one column here. Let's go ahead and you'll see the form section. So what we want to do, oops, what we want to do is connect or add that form here. So let me click form. And now it's asking us which form do we want to choose. So we're going to choose that webinar registration form that we just created. And here, this is a really important part, right? Uh, here is now, you know, at the forum level, when we created our forum, I said, just move it to website URL. That way you don't have to worry about the question. Um, if we had, or the, uh, the message rather. So if we left it like this, it would be use action from the form builder, which we changed to URL. So it will go no one, nowhere. Um, and then if we didn't change it to URL, it would just have that message. Okay. We actually, do want them to go to the thank you page. All right. So we're going to choose go to the next step. All right. Now, if we look up here, you'll see the next step is the thank you page. All right. So we're going to go ahead and publish and or actually let's save because we don't have a, I'm not going to connect it to a domain. But if we did publish, it would say, you know, do you want to connect it to, to a domain? And you can do that. Okay. So of course you do want to connect it to a domain. So now we have the form added to the funnel and we have the form routing to the thank you page, which looks like this. So as soon as they register in that form, they're going to receive this 
um, website here. Okay. It's going to receive the thank you page and say, uh, we sent your invite, check your email. Okay. Now, the next step here is we need to actually create a trigger link. So I'm going to pull up um, my little cheat sheet here, and um, I am going to copy this link to the thank you page. Now, of course, if I had a domain connected, it would be a lot prettier. But in this case, I'm just going to copy the um the preview link. Okay. So we have a trigger link now for the thank you page. I'm going to go ahead. And um, what we need to do now is grab a link. Or I'm sorry, let's go up to conversations. And let's see up here, you'll see trigger links. Okay. So what we're creating is a trigger link. Now, don't get this confused. If you guys have been with High Level for a while, we used to have triggers and uh, campaigns and they were in a separate place. Trigger links are not that, okay? Triggers and campaigns, those were actually built inside the workflow like several years ago. Um, and so some accounts still have it. So this trigger links are not the same as those workflow triggers and campaigns, all right? So we're gonna create a trigger link. And here, the, we need two trigger links, okay? So we need the Zoom link for the webinar, all right, uh, webinar. And this one is going to just be like, let's say Zoom, whatever it is, dot com. Let's just say this is the link that we're sending them to. Now, you could send them to anywhere, a Google Meet or whatever you want to send them to. I'm just saying here's the link to the actual webinar. Okay, so save. And then now we need to create a webinar thank you page link. And you'll understand why. Just a second. Thank you page. And now I'm going to copy that link here. Let's paste it in there and save. So now we've created our two trigger links because there are two actions that we want to be able to track. And that's why we create the trigger link. You can also look and see here, um, you know, analyze the links, like how many times were they clicked and so on. This is a demo account, but it won't show. But the cool thing is, is you can actually create from these trigger links, you can actually make actions take place when it's clicked. So that's why it's cool to have a trigger link. Okay. Now, the next step here is we need to actually complete our automation. So let's go into the automations. Let's create a brand new one. But this time I want to show you, and again, I'm, this is my attempt to make this super easy because you know I like to just build my own things. But we're actually just going to choose a recipe that's already created. So we're choosing a website funnel. And we're also, if you scroll down here, you'll see webinar registration and uh, confirmation and reminders. So let's go ahead and choose this workflow here. And you can see that it's already built out for us. And we have two triggers that we want to start here. Okay. So the form that they're going to submit to register for the webinar, we need to choose that form. Okay. And you know, we created that. I don't know why it's, it's still loading here. Let me refresh. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So you see the form here and let's choose. I don't know why this isn't. Let's delete this. I don't know why it's not uh, loading the form. The form is, here we go. Web webinar registration. Uh, so little pro tip, if you guys ever see something wonky like that, and this is true for every software. Typically, if you refresh the screen, that's usually my go-to. The second go-to is delete and redo it. And that seems to always work. Okay, so I'm going to choose my form is, and then I'm going to choose the actual form. So now I've chosen one trigger for this workflow. So as soon as they submit that form, we're going to add the registration tag. And then we've set the event, da, 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 da. They're going to, it's going to make this workflow kick in. Okay, now the next thing here is that trigger link. So this is the trigger link for the actual registration, um, the thank you page. Okay. Now the reason that I created it for the thank you page is because not everyone needs to re-register, right? If we want to send this link to the people we already have their email address, it makes it really easy. They just click the link in the, in the email and I'm going to show you how to do that. And then it triggers this automation. So that's why we wanted to create a trigger link for the thank you page. Okay. So let's do, um, 
webinar thank you page. Okay, so that's my other trigger here. All right. Now we're going to add a tag because we always want to add tags because this lets us know where this lead came from. So let's just say webinar. And I would be more specific. Like if I did multiple webinars, I'd want to say like webinar, maybe the date or the name of it or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and click um, save. Now the next step is we need to choose the day and time of our actual webinar. So it's obviously 2024. Let's say that uh, today is, what is today? Today is the 10th. So let's say the webinar is on, let's say it's this day and time. And let's say it is at uh, 3.30 PM. And now we can save. Okay, so we set our day and time. Now we have the confirmation email. So this is going to go out to people as soon as they register. You can see you're registered. It adds the first name. Thank you for registering to our insert webinar uh, name. You can call it whatever you want to. And we'll see you on. And then, of course, you need to add your day and time. So I think we chose September. September. I don't even remember the date. Uh, 10th uh, at, let's say, I think it was 3.30 p.m. And of course, put that time, uh, your time zone there. All right, at this link, okay? So this is where we need that trigger link for the Zoom meeting, okay? The Or whatever you're using, wherever you're gonna be hosting this. You could even have, if you have like your meeting, um, on a like a web page if you've embedded it there you just turn that into your trigger link right so it doesn't really matter where you're hosting it just wherever that is you need to make that the trigger link so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go up here and i'm going to go to um where is my let's go to contact and let's go to um uh, actually here's my trigger links okay click here where I want to add my trigger link and click here. Okay. So now you'll see I have the Zoom link webinar that we created. Okay. So what we're doing is, again, we're confirming, hey, you registered and here's the day and time and save action. Okay. So now we have another wait step. And again, you can build all this like, you know, without, um, without needing the recipe, but it just makes it so much easier to make sure if you're not used to doing this, that you're following all the steps. Okay, so we have a wait step here. And the wait is 24 hours before the event time that we chose right here. Um, you can see one day before the event. Um, we're waiting until that event time. Okay, now 24 hours before the time that we chose here, we're going to send another email. Okay, and it's saying, you know, looking forward to seeing you, just a friendly reminder uh, that our webinar, whatever you want to call it, um, is tomorrow at uh, whatever your start date and time is. We look forward to seeing you at this link. Okay, so again, we just put our trigger link here. Okay, so this is the Zoom link webinar. Save. Now we have another wait step. So an hour before the event time that we chose up here, we're going to send another email. Okay. So again, with this email, insert your webinar name here, um, insert the title, and then of course, insert the trigger link that is your um, webinar link. So I'm going to click the little sign there and good. Again, we have another wait step. So 10 minutes before we want to send another reminder. So here's the reminder. Okay, we're gonna send, um, you know, hey, contact uh, our webinar, whatever you call it, is going to uh, start in 10 minutes and you can join us here. Okay, so if I just delete this text, let's go ahead and add our webinar there. Okay, but how do we know who actually showed to the webinar? Okay, this is the where the magic happens, right? So. What we want to do is we want to add a wait step here, okay? Because when someone clicks that trigger link for the actual Zoom meeting, not this one up here, that's the link to the thank you page, okay? That's just showing us that we sent it in an email and they wanted to register. So they click the link to register and then it will automatically register. It will send them to the thank you page. So it's going to trigger this automation, okay? So, but what happens if they click the link uh, the to the Zoom meeting before the day and time even comes. Okay, so that's why we need to have 
a wait step here and we want to choose uh, the, um, the event type. So let's choose time delay, or actually let's choose event time here. And then let's choose like after, okay? So we're gonna wait until after the event time that we chose up there. And let's say that we're just going to wait uh, an hour and 10 minutes, okay? Now, the reason I say that is because typically webinars are like an hour long, and I wanna make sure that we have waited um, an hour and 10 minutes after the webinar to move to the next step. OK, so I'm saying after an hour and 10 minutes after the event time is when this next thing is going to trigger. OK, so we're going to go here and we're going to do another wait step. Now, this is actually a new option that we have available. You'll see here that trigger link clicked so we can actually wait until the trigger link is clicked to move on to the next thing. So what is the trigger link? Oops. What is the trigger link that we want to add here? It's our Zoom link webinar, okay? So when that has been clicked, and we could choose a timeout if we want to, um, but really what I wanna do is just when it's clicked, okay? So I'm gonna do save action. Oops. I think we do need that timeout. Okay, so we'll say, and this can be whatever, right? It's just when it gets to this wait step, you know, if they haven't, if it's been 70 minutes and they haven't clicked it, we can even make this like 10 minutes or whatever we want to do, okay? So you see now when you add this wait step, it actually, and, and again, the reason we're adding this is because we don't want this to trigger before the event is over, okay? So we're adding this wait, and I could even um, wait after the webinar. Okay. And so now we're going to say, wait to see who clicked. Now, I do like to label these because it makes it um, super easy to reference uh, so that if you, even if you didn't build it, whoever built it, you know, can label these and make it super easy for you to understand. So now what we're doing, if you're following along, okay, we've created this wait step. So 70 minutes after the event has taken place, it's going to move on to this next step. So who trick or who clicked the trigger link for the Zoom meeting? Okay. So here is where you want to send more information. You can do an email, you can add a tag. I definitely recommend adding a tag because you want to know who actually showed up for the event. Okay. We could even say showed webinar, whatever you want your tag to be. Okay. Add tag. And maybe you have like an email that you want to send to all the people who missed it because maybe you have like a replay or something. So you can say, here is the link to the replay of our webinar that you missed. And then whatever your link is, I don't know, it may be the same one. Um, but let's just say zoom.com or whatever it is. Okay. So that's really, that's how, um, oh, it looks like I didn't fill out that information. That's cool. Uh, so this is how you want to set up your webinar so that not only can you send all of the reminders, but you're building those trigger links so that you can follow up with them based on their action. So, you know, if they click that trigger link um, and it's been, you know, 70 minutes, we're going to send them um, the appropriate information about the webinar. OK, so that is really um, the gist of all of that. You can see that the most of the automation is already built in to your workflow and also the funnel is built in, too. So very quickly, um, we created the webinar. Now, there are so many other things that is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with high level for your webinars. Um, and if you missed any of the more detailed training I did, you can go to my YouTube channel, um, youtube.com forward slash Bridget Bartlett, search webinar, and you'll be able to find that whole training there. Okay. Thank you all so, so much for joining me. Again, if you want to join our program, uh, you can go to myvisionagency.com and choose the reseller program. If you just want the tools, you can access these plans here. And of course, you can access our free community up here as well. Okay. Thank you all for joining me. Have an awesome day. Go make your vision a reality. Bye.